Hello there everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to today's VATSIM video. Today is an event in Asia Pacific known as Milk Run Monday. It happens every Monday. <clears throat> and we are participating this week after being sick every Monday since I joined VATSIM. As by request, uh, I am doing a full setup here, how I set up a flight plan, how I take my notes and everything like that. So for that today, I have set up this little guy. Hi, can you actually see the uh, the notes well enough on there? Do I need to make it bigger? Uh, can you read what's on the page right here? How do you get the other planes to be real life liveries? This is something that is linked in with V Pilot in Vatsim. Uh, it scans your community folder for any liveries. And then I think it also does some magic because I don't have this silver jet style. Oh, hang on, you can't see it because it's behind the notes. It's a little blurry. Okay, I'll try and fix that in a sec. Um, yeah, because I don't have this silver jet style livery over here yet it appears or this one here <clears throat> so it does a little bit of magic but i'm unsure how but just make sure you have a, a good amount of skins in your community folder right let me bring this back up and let's have a look here let's see if i can make this a little better do you think it'll help if i just make it bigger Oh, the focus is very slightly out. Hang on one moment. I will still keep it this big though, I think. It's definitely an improvement. Uh, camera, camera, properties. I want configure video. And then let's see if we can get this going. Uh, I want the camera control. Focus. Turn off autofocus. Oh, geez. This might actually be the best we can get. I'll try. I'll make the exposure very static as well. How's that? Still doesn't look real good, does it? Oh, that just makes it worse. See, it looks great on the preview right here. You can see that it all looks very, very clear here, but like obviously once it's zoomed in, that's a problem. But anyway, so today we're going to be taking notes. I'm going to be showing you what we're doing in Simbrief and stuff. It's fine, I feel. Okay. Well, we'll leave it at this and I will tinker with it at some stage. It could just be that the lens is very slightly dirty as well. Right, let's close that. So we're going to go through the whole thing, how I set up Simbrief, how I set up the flights here, and then we're going to actually get into a flight from Melbourne to Sydney. The first thing I do is look for a flight. Now, I'm flying the A32NX here, so I'm looking for any flight that is an A320. I use FlightAware for this. And as you can see here, it shows you all the flights, when they're scheduled, and what they are flying. So this one here, Rex um, in Australia, flying a Boeing 738. Jetstar flying an A321. And then Jetstar 526, which is the plane we are going to be flying today, to, uh, is an A320. Even though it's scheduled for further than I would like, it's just a uh, it's a point for me. Everything else is an A321. There's a plane starting up right next to us. When you click on it, you get uh, information here. So it's departing from Melbourne, departing from Terminal 4, which is where we have spawned. And we are heading to gate Alpha 58 in Sydney, which I believe is along the left side. Actually, no. I think 58 is in domestic 2. 
but we'll check that out. <clears throat> so that's how we got the uh, flight here. So I'm going to put in my notes here that we are Jetstar 526 in an A320 from Melbourne to Sydney. And that's how I start my notes there. From there, we get rid of flight aware because we now know what we are. We then need to go over to Stim Brief. Uh, just give me a sec while I set up an empty flight plan here. You fly it. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I apologize. Right. Today we are Jetstar 526 heading from Melbourne to Sydney. And our push off time today, I want to aim for around half past because this gives me time to set things up in the computer. So half past local time is in about 40 minutes. So 8 a.m. Zulu. The airframe type, I have this one here saved, so it's much faster to set up. And it shows you a route here. We're going to need the Melbourne ATIS here so that we know which uh, runway we are taking off from. So we're going to go over to Melbourne here, Melbourne ATIS. Melbourne ATIS is currently Oscar, updated at 7.13 local. 10 minutes ago so it will probably be uh current when we are going approach expect glide slope or ILS approach runway 27 which is uh east to west runway 34 for departures northeast so we will be taking off runway 34 runway 27 for all others uh, for all other departures weather conditions are wet Plus wind 260, so it's coming in from the west at 13 knots. Visibility is greater than 10 kilometers. Weather, I'm not sure what VCSH is, but I think it's, uh, it's various cloud showers. I'm not sure. Temperature is 17. The QNH is 1004. And the weather says severe turbulence for a uh, severe turbulence forecast below 5,000 feet. So there we go. There is our uh, HS briefing. We now have Oscar on board. I'm going to put in squawk and departure frequency will be. Hey Vlad, what's up? How are you doing today? Uh, departure frequency at the moment is 132 decimal zero. Although he may say with me. Hi, good thanks. Hey, that's great to hear. And then we will be uh, taxi. And then the next will be our Sids and Stars. Uh, the person who is currently controlling uh, Elden Weir at the moment, which is where we'll be flying through, is the person that actually took me into Adelaide on the Vatsim 1 video. Uh, can I please move this? So the person that's controlling that area is this area here in orange, Elden Weir. Let me get rid of this. Sorry. So yeah, so he's controlling this whole area, which is really cool. So we are taking off runway tree four. It says arrival runway tree four left. Let me quickly check Sydney, make sure that that is also got Nicola on there. 
Uh, eight is Sydney Romeo. So instrument approach, then independent visual approach when visual. Do not pass through a sign. Runway three, four, left and right. In line for approaches and departures. So, and they're doing uh, independent uh, arrivals and departures. So yeah, three, four, left is fine. I'm happy with three, four, left. Uh, that may change as we go on. So we will be dos uh, cleared to Dosal, fly plan route, runway 34, Dosal 1 departure. Taking the Yankee 59 airway, which is from Dosal. I think this is Dosal here. Yes, Dosal right there. Right through to Rivet should be about here. No, that's Cullen. This is Tarrell Rivet. Rivet's here. Tarrell doesn't appear on my... Airways either because we're using Airac 2203. So we'll just go direct from Cullen to Rivet. It's not too much of a deviation anyway, at which point we'll get our clearance to head downwards. From there, that's how you set up a fly plan. <laughs> Obviously, if you want to make some more changes, they have some suggested routes here, but I know that we will be coming in Dosal Rivet. So. We're just going to roll with Dosal 1, Dosal Airway Yankee 59 to Rivet, and the Rivet 3 approach. Hang on. Rivet 3 approach takes us south. Oh, they might tell us at Boogie to turn left, heading whatever way. Obviously, you have to be prepared to make changes as well, but for now, that's what we're good for. We're going to generate this flight. And then I'm not sure what information is shared here, so I'm going to move Simbrief off this screen quickly while I file this flight plan. Because obviously I don't want any of my personal information leaked. Uh, you're in New Zealand, so not far from Aussie. Hell yeah. Us oceanic peeps got to stick together, you know. How is it over in New Zealand right now? I heard it's getting quite wet up north. All right, so we are cruising 390. Remark, PCAS, Air Rack 2203, because that is the Air Rack we are using. We'll file that flight plan. Right, that is now pre-filed. I'm going to quickly check this. Okay, good. There's no personal information here. Good, 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 good. Okay. What's my favorite airline? I mean, I fly Jetstar a lot, mainly just because I like delivery. And it's one of the few in Australia that actually fly an A320. <coughs> it's been raining all day. Ew, gross. All right, this is V-Pilot. This is what I used to talk with the ATC. We're going to file a flight plan real quick. So we're going to file a flight plan, fetch from server. There we go. You can now see it is Melbourne to Sydney with an alternate airport of Canberra. The departure time is eight o'clock Zulu and route time roughly an hour and a half with two and a half hours of, uh, sorry, roughly one hour with two and a half hours of fuel. Cruise speed is going to be 446 true airspeed and the cruise altitude is going to be 39,000 feet. So we're going to file that flight plan. We're now done with that. I now need to load up charts. That thing he gives, that's him, what's your route? Eh? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next up, we need to get some charts here. So we're going to load up Melbourne here. Now, the charts that I get, I know that we're at gate 46, which is right next to Juliet. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a taxi chart. We are here on Juliet. So we'll grab taxi chart, the Sid, st uh, the ch uh, the <laughs> Sid chart that we are running is a runways northeast. Let me just quickly refresh that so I can see that. We are taking off runway tree four. Here's the runway right here. 
So we'll be expecting Rockdoll, uh, Sally Dosal, Vlad, thank you very much for the sub as well. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we'll be expecting Rockdoll, Sally Dosal. So we will pin this flight, uh, this chart as well. Next up, we will want to get the charts for Sydney. This one here, we're going to be using stars, which is us. Uh, it is standard instrument de uh, departure and star is the standardized approach. We know that we'll be coming in rivet tree. We might end up going through TSAT here for vectoring, which is just where the, uh, the approach tells you where to go instead. From there, it looks like we'll be... I'm going to set up for ILS 3-4 left and right. I'm going to make sure that I have both of them ready. <coughs> Just in case. From there, we want a taxiways chart. So that we know where we are. And then it said gate alpha 58. So we're going to have a look at an apron chart here. Make sure that we get the right one. There we go. We'll make that big. There's gate 58 right there at domestic two. The very first one on the left. As long as no one is parked there, we should be good. So we will also grab that. And with that, all of our charts are now going over onto this screen here so that I can see them a little better. Let's make that chart there full screen. Uh, I think we've got all the info here. So we will be cleared to uh, Dosal Runway tree four, dosal one departure. Then I do slash slash there to indicate that that's a break because after that we'll put in our star when we get the clearance. Even watching me for a week or two didn't realize I wasn't sub. Oh, that's uh, that's cool. I appreciate it nonetheless. All right. Shall we shut up all those planes? And let's get in the cockpit. Going to check. Oops, I accidentally closed that prism. Also, sorry if my microphone dips out. It's when I'm looking over at my left monitor. So we now have 25 minutes to get our clearance, put in our flight plan, get the plane loaded, and we are good. Hey, what's up, Steezy? How you doing, bud? Also, I'm going to apologize right now. The stream is going to be laggy. For this stream, I have loaded up more than I normally would. So the stream will probably be laggy. Also, this will be a video. But probably all that we've just done, probably going to be cut in the video. But of course, it'll be there on the VOD. Otherwise, the video is just too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can always tell people in the video to go check out the live stream if they want to see the whole thing live, right? If you're coming from that video in the future, hi, how you doing? <laughs> Come on, Vat Prism. Might need to hop into Aussie for a bit. Yeah, man. I mean, Milk Run Monday is going right now. So if you want in. All right. Looks like we've still just... Oh, my God. There are so many planes. Uh, looks like we've still just got approach. Make sure the ATIS hasn't changed. It is still Oscar. Right. Let's start turning on the plane here. Actually, you're supposed to turn on these batteries here first. 
turn on the APU. We're going to turn on a nav light here. Oh my god, I really am framey. Holy. The frequency we are tuning. Is one three two decimal zero. There you go. We should start hearing some radio golf. chatter. Uh, four tiles are great. Attack on a four ten. You get taxi golf alpha holding point chili correction. Quote holding point kilo on my three four. Oh, he's going all the way down. I've also made it that when ATC is talking, music will dip, and when I am talking, the ATC will dip. Melbourne approach, uh, jet star 442, is it alright if we get uh, full length required heavy today? Just a 442, not a worry, taxi. You can amend that, oh. taxi Sierra. I, I also Sierra need to. Uh, Sierra, uh, Sierra, I need to link my sim brief because currently it's linked to uh, Steezy's. Because we did a Melbourne joint. Information. Papa's now current change is 250 degrees, 9 and Ops Cloud, 4000, temperature 16, QNH 1005, that's information, Papa. Alright. So our ATIS information has just changed to Papa. Ready for taxi. Fossi two sixty seven taxi by Tango Alpha. Hold short of Golf. Taxi Tango Alpha. Hold short Golf for uh, velocity two sixty seven. Shit, star five one eight uh, Melbourne approach. Uh, fully ready, uh, Julia. All right, real quick, I'm just going to get the... Oh, QNH didn't change. All right, cool. Clear for takeoff, free for jet star 518. All right, shall we call up and get our clearance? I need to turn on my headphones. Jet star 654, connect center 12375, g'day. 12375654, zip. Approach, just uh, 520, information, Papa, request clearance to Sydney. Just our 526, expect PDC. Alright. Approach, good evening, just our 526 and A320N with Papa requesting airways clearance to Sydney. Just our 526, expect PDC. Right, so what PDC is, PDC is a message through to you via V Pilot. Okay. So, we'll have a look here. Melbourne Approach says PDC uh, 800, clear to Sydney via Dosal 1, departure 34, route Dosal Y59, rivet, climb via SID to 050, departure frequency 132 decimal zero. Squawk 3213. I apologize, I just realized that you cannot. 3213, departure frequency is this. Only read back SID, squawk code, and bay number. So here we go. This, this throws off my flow a little bit as well here. Jet Star 518, Melbourne approach. Um, passing 2,500 feet. Jet Star 518, Melbourne approach identified. Convoy to sit to 5,000. Fire sit to 5,000, uh, Jet Star 518. Could you advise if there's a wind shear advisory for the takeoff runway? Uh, just a 518, according to the ADIS, there's not, but uh, did you report it? Yes, uh, heavy, heavy wind shear on the takeoff. Just uh, 518, thanks. Just uh, 520 PDC, read back. 
520, go ahead. Uh, Dosa 1 departure, squawk 4722. Just a 520, thanks, and just confirm that I'm ready 34 by the SID to 5000. Okay, 34 and 5000 for the SID departures, 1230, just a 520. Just a 520, thanks. Just a 518, pick up, sorry. 518, sorry, say again. Pick up, sorry. I don't understand what he's saying, but I need to five wait for this. Get stuff 518, why did you climb past 5000? Oh, he's in trouble. Advice, I was at 5000 when I received the RA to climb. Yeah, I, I gave you by the SID to 5000, I've got you at 6000 now, which was the same level as the aircraft above you. Advice, 5... 518. So when I was at 5,000, my TCAS gave me a resolution advisory to climb, which is what I followed. I'm sending back down to 5,000. So, uh, 518, sorry, you can climb 5 or 240. 240, 518. Yeah, uh, velocity 226, decent about to start at 2,500 from visa. So quit our approach from a 3 4, apologies for that. Correction, 2 7. Uh, no worries. Uh, Good practice. Uh, the ten of us started at <laughs> five hundred and uh, from these city islands from my two seven approach. Lost the uh, two twenty. All right, here we go. Pro, um, oh my god, it's, it's busy. Ready. Just up four forty two. Safer. Just up four forty two. On my tray four, clear for takeoff. From my tray four, clear for takeoff. Just up four forty two. 2267 holding short of golf. Sorry, uh, uh, one day I'll. I mean, I do share cockpits a bit. Possibly we can do one. Has he holding point Julia at runway 34 for velocity 267? Approach just south 526, PDC reback. Go ahead. Dosal 1 departure, squawk 3213. We are Bay Gate, uh, Golf. 46 and departures on 132.0. Jetstar 526. Right. I could have done a real read back much faster than that. We're parked up. Uh, we did get wind shear on final. Uh, it's going to be over shear. All right. Let's set up the plane here. Okay, now we can just bring this in straight from Simbrief. I like doing it manually because it makes me feel pretty, pretty awesome. And we have the time to burn as well, so we're just going to do that. It's cool if you can't. I mean, I've done shared cockpits with Steezy, with Flying Junkie, with Burb Jim Tim. Uh, there's still a few people that I need to do it with as well. But it's not like... I uh, actually need Simbrief up here. Actually, no, I don't. I just need to... Oh my god, I'm so sorry for the framiness. Usually it's not this bad, but because I have more open than I normally do, it is... It's awful. Awful viewing. There we go. Velocity 267, holding short of runway 34 on holding point Juliet. All right. Let's begin boarding the passengers. We get our fuel defueled. I need to turn on the APU bleed here and should have a long time ago. Turn on the emergency light. Station calling, say again. Velocity 267, holding short of runway 34. All right, so now we're going to have a look at the OFP here. Velocity 267, quite four. This gives you all the information here. You can see here, cruise system. Cost index 10. So that is what we are doing. We are cost index 10. And you can sync all this in to make it easier, but I, like I said, I like doing it. It makes me feel cool. You're in the Discord server? Hell yeah. Welcome to the Discord. So great to see so many people here. So on this one here, we're looking for our climb altitude 390 and then the maximum minimum temperature, which is minus 50. So 390 slash minus 50. So is that for Jetstar 520? Okay, ready for push. 
push inside of her, she broke my chalice. Gonna have to wait for. Oh, yeah, that's a good shout, actually. Uh, we are Squawks 3, 2, 1, 3. We'll turn on mode Charlie now, which is just so that they can see you. They can't really see you until you turn on your transponder. 4,500. Just off 42. Just off 42. Identify comments if bother with 240. Alright, our flight plan Runway is Melbourne via the Dosal 1 departure, runway 34, Dosal 1. We are then taking airway Yankee 59 to rivet. So from Dosal, uh, we do airways Yankee 59. To rivet. Insert. And there we go. Now we'll have Dosal, Ebony, Arrow, Nonup, Cullen, Tarrell, Rivet. From there, we'll be taking Rivet Tree in to runway. Was it Tree 4? It was Tree 4, right? Melvin, good day, we start 508, uh, requesting IFR clearance to Sydney with information, Papa. I believe we were landing Tree 4 left, if I remember correctly, via Rivet 3. I mean, I don't have it written down here, and I should have, <laughs> but I don't. Hey, good evening. Uh... Melbourne, it's Walker 1341. We're on the Jewel Aviation Ramp. Uh, Vision Jet, look for clearance over to Sydney when you're ready. Walker 1341, Melbourne approach. Good day, expect PDC. Walker 1341. Alright, we will set up our okay, altitude 13, here 40, for 5,000 feet. All aircraft on the ground at Melbourne, you can connect Tower 120 Decimal 5. Over to Tower 120 Decimal 5. Uh, we will be talking with him again very shortly, though, as we take off. One, two, zero, decimal five, a tower. What joystick and yoke do you use? <laughs> that, that's what I use. <laughs> Man, I love having a camera where I could just do things like that. Oh, but it hurts me to know that I am. All right, the uh, the defueling is still... Actually, it looks like it's good. The payload is also loaded. That's good, our cargo and passengers. Uh, we are... I think we're good for push and start. Not bad, though. I mean... It's not as nice to fly with, but, you know, it worked. Uh, we got cleared by uh, approach. Should we reach back to you or uh, to approach? Station calling Melbourne Tower, say again. Who's on tower? Uh, we got cleared by approach. Should we reach back to you? We have Jamie A. Did you read back to him already? No, we did not. Just the first read. Just up five zero eight. No worries. I'll need that read back then, please. Okay, clear to Sydney via total one departure. Walking four zero one one, and we are at the gate forty one. Just the first read. Just up five zero eight. Correct. All right, let's get this. Tower just start five two six. Request push and start. Gate goal forty six. Just start five two six. Tower hello. Push back approved. Push approved, Jester 526. Yeah, right. I've already got a pushback sorted, so we're going to request it. Hold short runway 34. Hold short runway 34, velocity 226. We are going to turn on our beacon. I'm also going to up the overhead lights just a little bit. We'll turn on the seatbelt signs and the no devices. 
turn the strobe onto auto as well. Connor 410, heavy, apologies, I didn't realise you were with me. Runway 34, clear for takeoff. Sorry, clear for takeoff 34, no problem. Parking brakes are set, you may lift. So the, uh, the pushback tug here is now going to lift our nose. How cool is that view, seeing all these pilots here, knowing that they are legit? Right, let me release that parking brake. Let me parking get rid released. of the webcam. It will start in the sequence. Fuel pumps are already on. We're going to turn on engine two and we're going to keep an eye on this one here by the time it reaches about 19 N1. Uh, it will be ready to go. As you can see here, we are being pushed back by the pushback type. We're going to come swing our back end around, tail right. One, uh, Dizzle 1 departure, zero, 0702 in the general aviation, aviation ramp, and we're ready to start. Walker 1341, I also ramp, didn't online, set everything up one, here. We do need to initialize our weight, which I should have done beforehand. Then we go over to performance page. We are going to take off flaps one. We're going to flex to temperature at least, I think at least 45, right? Transition alt in Australia is 10,000. Not 100,000, 10,000. Then from there, we should be able to put in our V1, V2, uh, sorry, rotate and V2 speed. Disconnect your ground power. It, it is. There's no external power. Runway 34 holding point Juliet, ready for departure. Velocity 267, tower today, <laughs> runway 34, line up and wait. I might have actually runway forgot to do that. Velocity 226, cross runway 34 onto Echo, contact ground 12, All right. decimal 7. Engine 2, good start. Engine 1. Cross runway 34, Echo, ground 12, one, decimal While we're here, we're going to do a few other things. We're going to lock the cabin door. We're going to turn on a light, blood light. Flaps are set, ground spoilers are armed. We are currently on taxiway Juliet. We're going to advise that we can take Juliet as well. Once we have good engine start here, we will call up the tower once again. Parking brake set. Velocity 267, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff runway 34, velocity 267. That's that plane Starting right there in front of us. It did it automatically when you push back. <laughs> oh, thank God. I don't even remember connecting up the ground power unit, honestly. Do we have someone else sitting down there at Kilo? Nope. Let's get in the drone cam. Let's watch this guy take off as we wait for our engine to start. And then when we get back into the cockpit, we should be good straight away to go. Oh. Also, uh, once again, I apologize for my stream lagginess today. There are a few things on that I wouldn't normally have on for this stream. Nice takeoff. Departures for velocity 267. Make sure that we have departures dialed in. We do. Tower Jetstar 526 ready to taxi to runway 34. Can take Juliet. Jetstar 526 contact ground for me 121 decimal 7. 121 decimal 7 for Jetstar 526. All right, on to another frequency. One, two, one, decimal seven. Oh boy. All the ATC are coming on right now. Well, uh, three, three, zero, information, Papa. Corners eight, nine, and six, expect PDC shortly. Expect 
Brown, good evening, Jetstar 526, ready to taxi to gate, uh, to runway 34, can take Juliet. Jetstar 526, thanks, taxi Juliet, holding point, runway 34. Taxi Juliet holding point, runway 34, Jetstar 526. That's pretty much right in front of us, by the way. All right, let's load up this information here. For some reason, my plane is in neutral but still moving forward oh and i forgot to turn on my taxi lights Shh, no one saw that I don't even need to look up a chart for this. I just know that Julia is this taxiway here. It's one reason why I like spawning in at gate 46 is it's very, very easy. Just uh, 520 is ready to taxi. Just a 520, can you accept Julia? Yes, just a 520. Just a 520 taxi, Julia, holding point, runway 34. All right, let's set the auto brakes to max. Seatbelt signs are on, cabin check on. Uh, sorry, cabin check. Next up, we just want to do a takeoff config test. Takeoff config test is normal. Get the 526, if you haven't already, you can switch to tower 1205. We'll monitor tower 120 decimal five. Thank you very much. Jet stuff 526. Then we'll get our departure frequency in, in. Oh my god, what did I just say? We'll get the departure frequency in, which is 132 decimal zero. Tower Jetstar 526 at Juliet holding point, runway 34, ready for departure. Jetstar 526, Melbourne Tower, good day. Is it full ATC coverage? It is. Hey, Verb Jim, how you doing, mate? On the, the drive home, lovely. Yeah, uh, it's a that's it. it's a Asia Pacific uh, event today. So we have full ATC. We have approach. Uh, sorry, ATIS ground tower approach departures center, and then all the way through at Sydney right now we have the tower approach and Binduk center here as well. Oh, that was a little bit rough. Five twenty six from my three four line up and wait. Line up and wait, just off 526. Walker 1341, contact departures, good day. No departure, Walker 1341, good day. Yeah, APAC. Tower, good day, just off 520. You know, Australia just and stuff. Just off 520, tower, good day. Runway tree four identified. Parking brake. I'm going to turn on another little bit of light here. Light director is on 5,000. Why am I not getting the flight director cross then? Also, this time of night to fly out of Melbourne is magical. I'm 
can turn the flight director off and then back on. Never mind, it's still not showing. Also, I just realized that the overlay isn't Jetstar working. Jetstar 526, for... runway 34, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Jetstar 526. Jetstar 520, runway 34, line up. Line up, Jetstar 520. All right, get the engine going up to 50%. Confirm that we have good engines and let's go. Eighty knots. V one, rotate. Positive rate, gear is coming up. Jetstar five twenty six contact departures. Good day. Over to departures, Jetstar five two six. Have a good one. Make sure everything is oh jesus christ dude we're gonna bottom out here yeah we're manually toga just give me one second departures jetstar 526 is climbing uh, 2500 feet jetstar 526 i want approach identified climb by the sid flight level 240 climb via the sid flight level 240 jetstar 526 Right, real quick, I'm just going to fly it manually for a sec. We'll get it back to climb. This is a problem that I have occasionally. Two, four, zero, autopilot on. There we go. Okay, it's just because I uh, yeah, we're climbing it up. I took we out the flaps uh, too fast. Yes, yeah, five twenty six. Report your climb speed. Two five one knots. Adjust our five two six. Yes, five twenty six. Roger. Walk at thirteen twenty. Were you able to stop your climb at one two zero? I might just get this Jakey right on the top of you. Yeah, that's what I figure. Walk at thirteen twenty one. So I will just let you know. Twelve thousand. Now going to approach, good day, he's in 1, 2, 3, it's uh, 10, 100, 100. Wait, he said climb speed, he, I think we meant this one here. G'day, he's just about to start 2, 5,000, so we can catch 1, 0, 0, 5, runway 3, 4, you can expect the RMP. Uh, that's 5,000, 0, Oh, the five, flight directors aren't showing because they only work when you take off. Lovely, okay. Oops. My screens are flickering today too, which they've yeah, never five, done. 26, cancel speed. Cancel speed, just off 526. And uh, no one approach, sorry to be difficult. New Zealand 123 request left of track. New Zealand 123, sorry, second. Uh, we've got a cell up ahead, uh, Mickham. Uh, just request left or right of track if available, preferably left. Yeah, New Zealand one twenty three. Sorry, I'm not really understanding what you were after. Were you are you good for track for Mickham or did you want uh, direct actor? Yeah, so New Zealand one two three. We've got a weather cell. Uh, I've had Mickham request. Left All right, let's set barometer to standard. We are now above ten thousand. We can turn. Oh, I never turned on the landing lights. Are you kidding me, dude? I had all the time in the world to as well. I'm doing so bad. <laughs> There's the traffic in front of us that we 
could hopefully be blowing right past. Departure Jet Sapphire 20, passing 4000. Jet Sapphire 20, Melbourne approach. G'day, this uh, identified convoy that's available 240. Let's see if we can get this overlay working real Up quick too. To 240, Jet Sapphire 20. Hello? Why are you not working? Dude, nothing is going my way today. What is that guy flying? Was this the vision jet? Aircraft type, SF-50. So it's a twin turboprop, is it? If he said speed, then he wants your indicated airspeed. If he said rate, then he wants your rate. Yeah, I don't remember what he said off the top of my head. Right, let's try this again. Departure from... Melbourne departure, squad of 4 and 5, passing 2,000, climbing 5,000. Melbourne, who's Sydney? Uh, identified, climb by the 6th level 2, 4, 0. Climb by the 6th level 2, 4, 0, squad of 4 and 5. Hey, it's working now, lovely. That's a vision. Aha. Uh, departure, any chance we can just uh, get a vector for the climb, Walker 1341? Walker 1341, sorry, say again. Yeah, any chance we can just get a vector for the climb off the sit? Uh, Walker 1321, she's about to go over the top of you now, but uh, you can turn left heading 020. All right, left 020, Walker 1341. And Walker 1321, you can climb to flight level 240. Alright, 020 and flight level 240, Walker 1341. Southern approach using the 123 clear with the live open track to Ivac Gula. Go Azerbaijan. Uh, Azerbaijan. Direct Gula and you can uh, we're five, currently five, on Vatsim on a direct five, flight five, route five, to five, Sydney, five, maybe five, afterwards. However, my stomach is not doing very well today, so it might only be this flight today, but it is the perfect time to be flying right now. Uh, this is sunset. It is local time at 6.10 p.m. Just up, just up 5, 26, connect center, 1, 2, 3, 7, 5, g'day. 1, 2, 3, decimal 7, 5 for just up 5, have a good one. Oops, went a little bit too hasty there. Center Jetstar 526 at flight level 230 for 240. Jetstar 526, Center Gadea, climb flight level 390. Flight level 390 for Jetstar 526. Quite a 471, descend by the star 9000, QNH1005. Descend by the star 9000, QNH1005. Descend by the star There we go. Yeah, flying in and out of Australia at this time of day is fantastic. The views you get in the drone cam are phenomenal. Actually, even just that view there is very nice. Hang on, let me latch on to that guy there. We'll swivel around the camera. Oh, plus, look at this. You can see Walker down there. I believe we have Jetstar 520 behind us. I saw them a second ago. There they are, Jetstar 520 down there. Coming in and out of the clouds. Do I have Volanta? I do not. I use Sim Toolkit Pro. But that's not open at the moment either because I'm already running my system into the ground. <laughs> 
my computer is hating me right now. Even though the gameplay looks smooth at the moment, it's going to be hell coming into Sydney too. Just giving you guys that heads up. I mean, just look at that view. That is just chef's kiss right there. All stations, stand by. Just need controller change. Let's say we already paid for the funeral. I'm down for that. <laughs> it might not be so bad. There, actually, no, I lied. There's a lot of aircraft at Sydney right now. Let's, uh, I'll show you guys. You ready? Here we go. There's all the aircraft that are around Sydney right now. Your want is 4.15? Let's see if we can see you. Qantas. Oh, okay. Uh, you're after that. I'm Jetstar 526, and we have Jetstar 520, and then you're Qantas 415. So we'll be coming into Sydney. Oh, wait, are you flying to Sydney? Submersible. God damn it. <laughs> Inside Discord jokes make their way through to the stream. Ah, it's ugly now useful. Uh, it's the ugly now useful cousin of Volanta. Global Center, Qantas 415, climbing flight level 240. Qantas 415, uh, setting an A, climb flight level 35, yeah. Climb flight level 350, Qantas 415. Yeah, you climbed a 350, sweet chili. Oscar is taxiing runway 27, back to Marsh for Melbourne. Uh, one pair there. All right, let's see if all the ducking here works while I'm talking. Next time ATC comes on, let me know if they are quieter. All right, let's try this. Let's see if they get a little bit quieter. Is it working properly? Where ATC should get quieter as I'm talking? Kilo Foxtrot Oscar. Kilo Foxtrot Oscar, thanks. Contact approach 132 decimal zero once airborne. We'll contact approach on 1320 once airborne. Kilo Foxtrot Oscar. Walker 1341, are you on frequency? Is definitely working. Nice. Is it too heavy? I know music duck is uh, very heavy. Quite a 471 approach. Ah, sorry, Senator, go for it. Quite a 471, we're seeing less 30 degrees due to weather. Quite a 471, no worries. Uh, clear approved, uh, 30 degrees left. Weather and just advise when ready to return track. Uh, approved. Alright, I'm going to quickly hydrate. Sorry, I'll start getting left. 30 degrees approved. We'll go on the zoom. I'm track on 471. That's 471, thanks. And you can continue to send by the start at 9000. I'll grab the QH for you in just a moment. So, right now, if we have a look at my notes, this is all for departure here. There we go. We are looking at pen down currently. You can see here that we have just our 526, taxi, Juliet, holding point, our departure, which was Dosu, uh, flight player route, runway 34, Dosu 1, departure. Walk 3210, uh, 3213, departure frequency 132 decimal zero. And this is how I structure my notes. It makes it very, very easy to understand. Okay, did I file 310? I thought I filed 290. You filed 39, but if you'd like it, flight level 290 is all good. Okay, that was my mistake. Flight level 290, Walker 1341, thank you. You know, one day you should do Auckland, Queenstown. Oh, uh, actually. 20 request for the climb. It's uh, 520, uh, Seneca Day was waiting for you to give me a call. Climb flight level 330. That's the one that's in between me and Sweet Chili. Uh, one day you should do Auckland to Queenstown. Queenstown has so much terrain, it's beautiful. Um, yes, so... Me and Steezy have flown... Oh, 
We flew out of Auck we've flown into and out of Auckland a lot, but usually from Wellington. Your mic cut hang on, your mic cut out if you're talking. It looks like it's working. Yeah, um, I just needed to make sure because I hear Jetstar and my ears prick up just in case. Look at 14, uh, 13, 41, uh, resume on your navigation. Your position is approximately 38 nautical miles to the southwest of Ebony. Um, right yeah, so uh, we have flown in New Zealand quite and, a bit. Uh, got that. Our last uh, flight in New Zealand was Wellington to Auckland. I can't move my notebook either because otherwise it becomes out of frame again. But yeah, literally the last flight I did on Batsim was with Steezy from Wellington to Auckland. How long do you approximately have on this heading? Uh, we require another 15 to 8 miles. 471, alrighty, no worries. I'm going to reissue you a new star clearance. Uh, star clearance, Warren 7 Alpha Arrival for runway 27. We'll bring you into the TMA from the south. Coming there, star clearance, runway uh, 27 for runway 7 Alpha Arrival. 471. Right, unfortunately, we missed all the full ATC in Melbourne, but we also missed the crowds. So, as you can see here, we now have Delivery ground tower approach departures and centre okay, around so Melbourne. But there are uh, a lot one, of aircraft so on the ground five. here. Can resume the star profile speed. And then hopefully we'll get the same at Sydney by the time we get there. I think the controllers are blocked in for the next hour and a half at least, so we should be good. And we will be hitting our top of climb here just a little bit before Ebony. Which I think is an Albury Wodonga waypoint. It's like right next to the Albury. Uh, right next to the Albury. Uh, airfield. So, Albury Wodonga, probably somewhere over here, Warren, under the clouds. Wellington is a pretty uh, short uh, runway. I guess it is, I've never really thought about it. Because usually we're taking off from there, not landing, so that becomes much less of an issue. I wonder if my old hometown could land an A320. It's enough to take off an A320. But landing, I don't know, it, you might be cutting it very short there. There's Albury Wodonga right down there. You can see it through the clouds. So cloud cover is not too thick. It's not good though. Uh, and New Zealand and Jetstar fly A320s there to Wellington. I mean, yeah, but I mean like my uh, my old hometown as well. How many miles is the flight? Uh, it should say somewhere up in the top of the screen how far we've got to go. I personally cannot see that though. Uh, we have 300 nautical miles to go and the flight is 381 nautical miles. So if it doesn't show that information, there it is there. Wellington is nothing compared to Queenstown. Uh, the operations are so strict. Oh. From from present position. Oh, again, from present position, right direct to resume the Right. So what you're saying is, first time trying to land into 
uh queenstown maybe do it solo just make sure you can do it and then try it on network <laughs> Star 7 to 26, star clearance available. Go ahead, yes, Star 7. Good Star 7 to 36, <laughs> star, your star clearance warrant, 8 hour for arrival for on my 27. When ready, descend uh, flight level 130. Warrant 8, Alpha arrival for on my 27. When ready, descend flight level 130. Just uh, 736. Star 736, thanks. Give me a call now. One two, uh, one three two point uh, three seven. Hang on, did I not set something up one, two, right two, here? Three, seven, it five. says that uh, our top of descent Actually, is before uh, colour. One three four point three two five. Let me have a look here. One, three four. Oh my four, god, seven, dude. Three two five. Star 736. I cannot. St oh, holy shit. Why am I lagging so much all of a sudden? And now it's fine. Or fine enough, at least. Double standard, just start 736. Just start 736, thanks. Oh. Pilot 410, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we should get our star clearance just before Colin. Pilot 410, kind of get your pause, uh, flight level 370. Yeah, but I'm pause your sim for me. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Simulator froze for a second. Uh, it should be good now. Got a score 10, thanks. Uh, contact center 129, decimal 8, expect star clearance. Center on, uh, that was 129, decimal 8. Ava? Point on decimal 8. Right, that's the next frequency we will also need to tune, yeah, so we'll uh, get that uh, ready. Your request, uh, flight level 350. Uh, just our 520, no worries, climb fly level 350. Yeah. And we have yeah, Ethan five, on. Yeah. Oh my god, he's been center for so long. Quarter 415, just requesting about three minutes away. Quarter 415, no worries, report back. We'll do quarter 415. He's been online for quarter nearly six hours. 10, contact approach now, 132 decimal zero, good day. 132 zero, quarter 10, yeah. Well, it's 441, thank you, approach now, 132 decimal zero, good day. Six hours, yeah. He recently got his center control, um... Uh, that was center kilo. He control, recently so passed his center control, so I've noticed him uh, online on clear to for hours, ages. Kilo Fox, ask, uh, negative. Like, He's almost online. every day. McCall, 132 decimal zero. Uh, we'll switching back over to 132 kilo fox shots. We, we still have a long way to go. Hello, what is going on there? Oh, probably because we're going to be ve uh, vectored in. There's like a discontinuity, uh, discontinuity there. Yeah. So that's why our flight plan here doesn't connect. How fast are you going, sweet chili? I swear you're creeping up on me, man. You're at least creeping up on 520. What are you flying? You're, oh, you're flying a 738. That explains a lot, actually. Marvin, send good day to the 538, climbing to the 240. Jetstar 5 zero, uh, Senegade, climb flight level 3 5. Climb flight level 2 5 zero, jetstar 5 zero, eight. Oh man. I feel like kind of sleepy at the moment too. I had dinner just before this, and it's kind of hitting me hard a bit.
So Cullen is just north of Canberra. So Canberra will probably start our top of descent as we are wingside with Canberra. That's Canberra right here. I'm so happy I'm done with essays at school. We had like three every week. <laughs> That's a mood. I am actually finding it difficult to see here currently. Uh, I'm going to configure this video to have a little more exposure. And then I'm going to turn down my light. And uh, corner 415, just checking through a clear to flight level 330 or flight level 350. Corner 415, you're clear flight level 350 in the alpha. Copy 350, thanks, corner 415. There we go. Uh, just double checking, you can still read this okay? Does it need more? Does it need more gain in the uh, in the webcam, or are we good? All good, cool. Yeah, just had to turn down the light over my screen because it's gotten dark now. It's very difficult to see with that kind of lightly shining on it. I really do need to just clean off my monitor. But I'll tell you what, I really like the look of the plane when it's like very dimly lit at night. Like that, so good. Where's the other knob here? There it is. One of my favorite views while playing this game right here. It's just, it's sexy. <laughs> when we get handed over, I will turn back on the webcam and we'll write down our uh, Stara uh, instructions as well. Our star clearance. Like I said, I already, I already know that it's going to be rivet tree, so we're going to keep the rivet uh, chart up on my other monitor right here. Oops. I didn't realize that my sim was still there. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we'll be cleared river. Then Bingham over 8,000 feet. Tammy under 9,000 feet. Uh, over 6,000 feet at Boogie from there. We may get vectored in. We may uh, turn to Dudok and Nasho. Set, uh, Qantas 475, flight level 320, mark decimal 80. Qantas 475, gonna get a star clearance for you, Lizzie 8 alpha, apologies, Lizzie 9 alpha, arrival runway 27, report ready for descent. Clear the Lizzie 9 alpha, arrival runway 27, will report ready for descent, Qantas 475. Melbourne Centre, g'day, just uh, 420, uh, flight level 161, climbing. 420! Just start 420 Centre, g'day, climb flight level 390. Climb flight level 390, just start 420. Just start 526, contact Centre now, 129.8, expect star clear. 129.8 for just start 526, have a good one. There we go. 
So I will turn on the camera now. Senator, good evening, Jetstar 526 with your flight level 390. Jetstar 526, Melbourne Center, good day. Clear the river at 3 Rubble, runway 34 left. When ready, descend to flight level 250. River three, I expect uh, runway three four left, and may I please have the altitude again to descend to just off five to six. Just off five twenty six, run ready, flight level two five zero. When ready, flight level two five zero, jet star five two six. So there we go. River three, runway three four left, flight level two five zero. Now, should I notify him of when we have started our descent? Yep. The uh, the controllers are usually pretty on top of seeing what's going on here uh, as well. Ten descend by the star one zero thousand H one zero one zero. There's only one of the third ones here that's in the end copy when H Connors one zero heavy. Okay, how should I address him? Should I just say we're at our top of descent? And descending to flight level two five zero? Advise leaving altitude. All right, so uh, so it'll be Senate Jetstar 526 leaving flight level 390 for 250. Perfect, awesome. Just wanted to make sure. It looks like the overlay is frozen up again because we're closer to halfway now. This overlay is useless, dude. So many times I have to get it to restart. Any more flights after this? I am unsure. My stomach's a little eh, ish at the moment, but good enough to actually finally do a milk run Monday. Overlay Alt F4. I'm just about ready to. If it freezes up again, I'm just going to disregard it and I'm never going to use it ever again. Until I get a new computer. Then we can always try it again. So if we look off the wing here, there's Canberra, Canberra Airfield, somewhere over on this right side. It's quite a few people around Canberra too, which is crazy. Unfortunately, we can't see any of them, but they're there. And then this little orange light here on the distance, I'm not sure if you can see it. That is possibly Sydney right there. As it is hiding under the clouds. Just like 526 report, Mac number. Mark 0.78, Jetstar 526. So 526 increase speed and mark decimal 0.8. Mark 0.8, Jetstar 526.
Uh, wouldn't uh, cabin lighting be off during that time of flight? I mean, the time is only uh, 6.30 in the evening. Also, I didn't realize my ground spoilers were still armed. Whoops. And the seat belts. The passengers haven't gotten up to go to the bathroom or anything. And maybe we're going to have a an incident. Who was it that did it? They like kept people on the ground for five hours and didn't hand out water or something. So they get out star five twenty. Just star five twenty, Melbourne Center get A, you've cleared the river at three arrival on range three four left. When ready to send flight level two five zero. Uh river three arrival. Three four left, down to two five zero when ready, just star uh, five twenty. And just star uh, five twenty in your report max number. Uh max point seven seven. Just star uh, five twenty increase speed mark decimal eight zero. Uh up to max eight zero, just star uh, five twenty. Center, Qantas 415, Melbourne Centre, good day, clear the river at 3 rubble, runway 3 to 4 left, when ready, descend flight level 250. Clear the river at 3 arrival, runway 3 to 4 left, when ready, descend flight level 250, Qantas 415. Alright, let's Qantas get, 415, report get the... the uh, 0.79 MAC. Okay, we are wanting to go over to 124 decimal 4 next. True speed, mark the 476, So we'll get that one in there as well. Okay, 124 decimal 4. When it's about 10 nauticals off, we'll start descent or five nauticals off because I usually find myself still a little too high. And especially with this increased speed as well, I'm a little bit unsure. Once that arrow gets inside, I'll call up and then we'll do it. Center Jetstar 526 is leaving flight level 390 for 250. Jetstar 526. Reduce speed mark decimal 74. Reduce speed mark decimal 74. That is definitely Sydney in front of us, by the way. I've just realized. Oh boy. Confirm Keeling 507. 507. Keeling 507, Melbourne Centre, good day. Uh, four seconds in, turn left heading 360. Turn left heading 360, crossing 507. In class 507, start clearance available. Now, uh, two texts, let me do this turn. All right, we now should be right north of Canberra. There it is. With the Canberra runway. Actually, Canberra is a very easy airport to understand as well. It's just one long taxiway to both ends of your uh, of your runway. The Odal 7 arrival, runway 34 right. Climb flight of all 150. Odal 7 Plus, you can get some arrival, sick views as you're coming out, uh, especially early morning as the moon is setting. Just 
We'll disregard. I didn't put that over the radio, by the way. Just so you know. Hey, what's up, Baz? How you doing? Dal, there's a streamer that I had to do a diversion because he simulated a passenger stuck in a lavatory. Hey, laboratory or lavatory? Connors 410, contact Sydney, approach 124, decimal 4, good day. That's, uh, that's totally Air Force Proud 95. <laughs> love the vids, thanks Baz, I appreciate that. I love you. I love all of you. Thanks, uh, thanks for supporting me over the last few weeks that I've been, uh, posting somewhat regularly. Appreciate you guys. That's him. It's amazing to watch other people do it. Yeah, actually, I, I set up a whole flight plan to, on today's stream, like how I go about setting it all up and everything, including setting up the McDo computer. So if you're interested in watching that, there will be some information on that. After this stream is done, you can go back and watch it if that sort of thing interests you. What plane are we flying? Mr. Dude, today I am flying... Oh my lord, that is so dark. Hang on, let me get some lights on on this thing. There we go. Today we are flying the Jetstar A32NX. Man, that is ridiculously bright. Yep, today we're flying the Jetstar A32NX by Fly-By-Wire. I love flying this thing. Here we go. All right. Back into the cockpit. You subscribed? Thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. Do I still need to be mark point eight on my descent or was that only until top of descent? Leading by level 350. Uh, session calling confirmed call sign. Corner 4 and 5. Corner 4 15. Killing 507. Run ready descent 9000 QNH 1010. When ready descend 9000 QNH 1010. Maintain? Okay. Well, I'm having a hard time here, so. Oh, nope. There we go. Jet Star 526, descend via the Star 10000 QNH 1010. Descend via the Star 10000 QNH 1010, Jet Star 526. Singapore 314, Melbourne Center, good day. Confirm direct, uh, direct Colin. Direct Colin, Singapore 314. Singapore 314, just ask because you're, you're, looks like you're flying right heading 060. There we go. That was easy to remember because it's 10,000, 1010. I mean, how much harder do you need there? <laughs> Jet 
Just uh, 526, uh, report airspeed. Decimal 78, uh, Jetstar 526. Uh, Jetstar 526, negative airspeed in knots. Uh. Jetstar 526, just looking for your indicated airspeed in knots. Uh, indicated airspeed currently is 359 knots. Jetstar 526, train, um, Marisa, just stand by. <laughs> uh, just a five twenty six apologies. Um, reduce speed um two six zero knots. 260 North suggests R526, no worries, mate. Singapore 314, flight clearance available. Alright, Singapore 314. Singapore 314, clear the river at 3 arrival, runway 34 left. Poor guy. Send flight level 1. I feel like he had a bit of a hard time there. 34 left, why do you rivet? 3 arrival. And we're ready with flight level 130 Killing 507, turn right direct, act me up. Like he's been online for six right hours, I don't blame him for flailing a little bit, you know. Just like 520, descend, father star 10,000, tune edge 1010. Six hours and nine minutes currently. And just like 520, um, increase speed to 270 knots. Increase speed to 70 knots at 520. Welcome back, Vlad. Yeah, yeah, Ethan's been online for six hours. But you know, he got his uh, center qualification like just a few days ago. He's probably still in the honeymoon phase with it. Airspeed. Our speed is 290 knots. Singapore 314. Singapore 314 for sequencing, reduce speed to 250 knots. Man's a legend. Yeah, he's actually pretty decent at it too, eh? Like, yeah, there's a few little hiccups and stuff, but I'm not really complaining. Cross 415, apologies. Descend, uh, other star 10,000, tune edge 1010. Right, let's get Vaprism off my monitor. Let's rip up the chart here. Just five zero eight, Melbourne Centre. G'day. Clear the river at three arrival. Arrival one right three four left. Once again, rivet to Bigham. Bigham here. We need to be above eight thousand feet. By Tammy, we need to be below nine thousand. And then above six thousand at. Boogie. Let's turn on the constraints here. You can actually see that here. Over 8,000, under 9,000 at 250 knots. Increase speed 260 knots, corners 415. Just a 520, apologies. Descend, Father Star 10,000, QNH 1010. Who's excited for the 2024 update? I mean, my computer's already frazzling, and if I want to. Just if I want to play missions and stuff, uh, I'll play like Neo Fly or Flight Sim Economy, so it doesn't really bother me too much. Just our 526 contact setting approach 124.4. Approach on 124 decimal 4, Jetstar 526. Have a good one, mate. See ya. Approach here from National Class 400. Jetstar 505 contact. Melbourne Centre, 125 days to Mozilla, South. 125 days to Mozilla, South, just off on the bus. Approach, good evening, just off 5 to 6, flight level 160, rivet 3. Jetstar 522, Sydney approach. G'day. Decent, Nevada Star 8000, runway 34 left, expect the ILS approach. 
Uh, just confirming that was Jetstar 526, not 522, correct? Sorry, correct, Jetstar 526. All right, descend to 8,000 feet, expect ILS runway 34 left, uh, Jetstar 526. Approach today, Whiskey Double X-ray, currently texting runway 28 Richmond, requesting ISR through to Sydney. Whiskey Double X-ray, contact me 123 decimal zero. Ben on approach, is it Ben? Have a look here. Uh, it's Nicola on approach. Uh, ben on departures. United 4322, Sydney departures, get identified. Climb by the fifth flight level 280. Also, I feel like my uh, my nice talk to back. approach there was very clean. Although I've said that before to be told that uh, there's things you can do better. There's our runways here. You can see the blue light starting to uh, come in here. Ah, the taxi lights, apologies. Oh, 10, descend 3000, turn left heading 360, are you visual? Uh, descend 3000, uh, enter left heading 360, and uh, not visual yet, but we'll be looking. Minus 410, thanks. On that heading, intercept the localised runway 34 left. Clear to ILS runway 34 left approach, not below 3000 until established on the glide right path. Alright, on that heading, we'll uh, intercept the ILS runway 34 left. Next up, we'll be tuning 120 decimal 5 once again. So we get that punched in to the box here. This will be when we have to contact tower. For you, what is the hardest part of aviation? The landing. Jetstar 526, Sydney approach. Jetstar 526, go ahead. Jetstar 526, descend by the star 6000, runway 34 left, expect the ILS and the independent visual and visual. Descend 6000 ILS 34 left. Expect uh, independent visual when runway is. Oh, we have visual of the runway right now, just off 526. 526, thanks. And uh, do you require any uh, extended track? Because you look a little high on profile. Are you able to make it down at probably about 2000 by sausage? Uh, we'll see what we can do. We may need a little extended track. I will keep you notified, just off 526. We are uh, actually overspeeding through here approach, too, so we're forward. going to. Oh. For the left, so, um, there we go. Heavy. Yeah, we're a little fast, mm -hmm. so. I mean, because I land with, uh, because I fly uh, with the controller okay. and everything. Uh, it's a little harder for me. So he said to 2000, right? At sausage, uh, for sausage. Uh, Alright, enter the destination five, data. That's something that I forgot to do eight, here. We want Perth. One zero one zero. Down to six thousand uh, three four. Uh, left let's get the ATIS for Sydney. Five, five, the winds are uh, 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 sorry. Ten, temperature one eight. Oh no, my whole computer's one, two, freezing three, four, five, up. Yeah. One eight. Winds are ah, zero two zero at one. Ah, sorry. If, uh, yeah, at one five. Not. We've already gone below the transition hold, I think. So we should be good there. Uh, from there, we need to set up our barrow. So we'll head over to the charts page. Runway 34 left from Sausage, Barrow, Cat, are we Cat 2 or Cat 1? Actually, this isn't, hang on, this isn't the one that I want. 
approach three four left that's the one i want That's With. 524 sequencing, reduce speed to 6, fair enough. Pull it back to 6, fair enough. Alright, so we are going on to... resume normal speed. Resume normal speed, Jetstar 526. Uh, we are Microsoft Flight Sim. I am actually at my normal speed. I don't know what he's talking about. With you, flight level 145, descending for 9,500. The ILS Cat 1 is 220, ILS Loke is 400. Which one do I want? Expect the ILS and the independent visual approach when visual. DCM 7000, expect ILS into visual. 34 right, 507. Jetstar 526, descend 3000 via the star. Descend 3000 via the star, Jetstar 526. Singapore 314, Singapore 314, Sydney approach, today. descend via the star 8000, runway 34 left, expect the ILS and the independent visual approach when visual. No, we're on runway 34, Singapore 314. Um, approach uh, just off 526 will require a little extra track descending through to Sausage. Just off 526. Just a little though. Just off 520, you have about 35 miles to run, descend 4000 by the start, resume normal speed. Uh, we want Cat 2, there is no Cat 2, unless you mean 220. To pick up on ILS Cat 1. You can fly with the A320 Neo, a Sobo and Vatim? Yes, of course you can. It should have a Cat 3 ILS approach. Uh, it does not. It has SI ILS Cat 1 ILS. Just hang on, let me have a look. Six, turn left heading 030. Left 030, just off 526. Actually, I see SI Glide Slope uh, 220 as well. But ILS Loke page one, ILS Cat one is 220, ILS Runway 34 page two, ILS is only shows Cat two and one there as well. Well, I will put in 220 then, because that's, the, oh, that's the one that seems to be the way to go on a lot of them so just about 520 uh, runway in sight just about 520 break just about 526 turn left any 360 runway 34 left clear visual approach 360 just start 526 uh, clear uh, visual approach 34 left I was just about to call him up and say um, that we are good to direct track to Sausage. Approach just south 526, that's the runway inside. Just south 526, drum three four left clear visual approach. Three four left clear visual approach, just south 526. I want to direct to Sausage here.
Let's turn on the landing stuff here. Three, four left, right? Yes, correct. I'm looking at all the charts here, but I'm not really seeing much. Just off flight 22, I'm sitting zero five zero. Zero five zero, just uh, five two zero. Approach just off five two six, established localizer, runway three four left. Just up 526, thanks. Not below 3000 until established on the glide path. Uh, you got about 11 miles from Towers 120 decimal 5. No. 120 decimal 5, just off 526. Have a good one. 88. Velocity 888. What frequency were you handed over to? Like, how many frequencies have you been through? I've been through delivery. Ground and this is my third frequency. Thank you. Tower, good evening. Just off 526, established localizer, runway 34 left. Just off 526, Sydney Tower, good day. Winds are 020 zero zero degrees, 15 knots. Expect uh, turbulence on final. 34 left, clear to land. 34 left, clear to land, uh, just off 526, thanks. Right, do I have all... Oh my god, I didn't turn on my landing lights again. Dude, I'm so bad at this. Why is it that when I start streaming, everything starts falling apart? 2,500. It's like when I'm doing videos and I'm just sitting here chilling, it's no problem. But the moment I start streaming, that's it. All the problems start showing up. I wish I could say it was because I fake all the videos, but I really don't. I just do better when recording. But I like hanging out with you guys too. I hope you guys enjoy hanging out. All right. I also forgot to put in my flaps as well. We are so fast here. Speed break. I'm still going to try and go in. But I have really screwed this. It may yet be saved. Like I said, I flail when streaming. But it looks like we are saving it here. Normally, I'd do a go around, but my stomach's a little upset, so I don't really want to have to go around, I, like, because I kind of need to get up, <laughs> so. All right, we'll try and come off on Bravo 9, excuse me. We can now set that one there. We'll set our auto brakes to low. We've got plenty of runway. Our speed is now in check. Let's get on here. Yeah, my very first Vatsim flight was done in the A320 Asobo. It doesn't really matter as long as you have a good understanding of your plane. I have a decent understanding of this plane and managed enough uh, to... Um, 400 to save this flight. 100 above. Jesus. Velocity 888, be ready upon reaching. Velocity 888, base, uh, ready for touch. Velocity 888, keep it rolling. Winds are 020 degrees, 15 knots. 3-4 right, cliff takeoff. I don't see any of my controls here. 20, 10. Fire. There's the laggy landing, as I predicted earlier. Velocity 
Jet Star 520, you with me? Jet Star 520. Just making sure. Flaps retracted. This is, oh my God, dude, what is going on? I think this is Alpha 4. Jet start by 20 wind, 020 degrees, 15 knots, 34 left, clear land. 34 left, clear land, jet start 520. Jet start by 26, welcome to Sydney, contact ground east, 121.7. 121 decimal 7 for Jetstar 5 to 6. Have a good night. Flossy 888, departure snail. 123 decimal 0. See ya. 123 decimal 0. See ya. Stop moving backwards, dude. Right. 121 decimal 7. My everything is freaking out right now, dude. I believe we are Bravo 9. Ground, good evening, Jetstar 526, clear of one way 34, Bravo 9. Jetstar 526, welcome to Sydney, taxi Bravo cross 25, hold short of golf. Taxi Bravo hold, uh, cross 25, hold short golf for Jetstar 526. Uh, to the ground, Velocity 800 is on Golf. Velocity 800, hello, taxi, Golf Hole Search Charlie. This is Golf, who I had. I'm ground. pretty sure this is who I had in my first bats in video as my tower controller. The voice sounds very familiar. Turn off landing lights. Taxi on. Runway turn off lights are already on. And I didn't have to write any more in my notes because they're all said very quickly and you act on them very quickly. So right now my notes. Where's my pen gone? Right here. Pen down. That is my notes for this flight. Got us one eighty one. Four thirty eight hundred. Uh, left on Charlie Bravo ten. Tango. And um, yep. And yep. Okay, left on two. <laughs> Music is a touch loud. It shouldn't be. It should. Uh, it should duck as I'm talking. And it's quieter than everyone said every single time. Oh, come on, dude. Please keep moving. We'll stop here. Overpowers flight sim a bit. Yeah, it's because it's quiet in the cockpit. But yeah, so notes, everyone. Yeah, it's quiet as hell now, now that we're not moving very much. Uh, it's a 526. Uh, do you have any stamp reference today? I would prefer Alpha uh, 58. Ground. Good evening, Qantas 181 with you. Qantas 181, hello, taxi, Charlie, Bravo 10 in Tango. Charlie, Bravo 10, Tango, will do, thank you. Uh, is that 526, Grant? Are uh, you asking which stand I'd prefer, correct? Jetstar 520, uh, Bravo 9, request taxi. Jetstar 520, taxi, Bravo, hold short on way 25. Am I like... Taxi, Bravo, hold short 25, Jetstar 520. Captain, you have an incoming direct...
Let's have a look here. Uh, velocity 800, call tower now, 120.5, good night. Yeah, 120.5, velocity 800. Yeah, velocity 800, call tower now, 120.5, velocity 800. Ground, got PDC to contact this uh, frequency, but I'm already here, Jetstar 526. Uh, Jetstar 526, caught you a few times in the response. Do you have a stem preference today? I uh, would prefer Alpha 58 if possible, Jetstar 526. Uh, 526, stand back. Whoops. Jetstar 113, ready for taxi. It should be Jetstar Golf Bravo 4. Jetstar 123, stand by, Jetstar 526, ready for taxi, Golf to the Bay, good eight. Golf to the Bay, Jetstar 526, have a good one. Did he say that I needed to respond? Mate, I was responding every time. Circle's calling for taxi. Jetstar 113, ready for taxi. Jetstar 113, ready for taxi. Correction, are you able to turn on to Charlie 2? Yes, able Jetstar 113. Jetstar 113, Virtual Taxi, Charlie 2. Charlie, uh, cross 25, Bravo 10 in Bangor. Uh, taxi, Charlie 2, Charlie, cross 25, Bravo Your push to talk Bangor. wasn't pressed? Yeah, Maybe I was pressing the wrong button then. You know what, at this point here, I think I'm just going to disconnect. Right, one, We've one, got one, our two, clearance four, to the four, bay. Four, we may as well five. just disconnect at this point. That is the wrong thing. I'm sure I was pressing my push to talk key there, though. Sydney Tower, good evening. Qantas 181 with you. We're heading on a taxiway down Bravo 10. Going to runway 34 right. Alright, we'll disconnect here. We'll just go. Like I said, we've already got our clearance. That's all that really matters here. That we've got our clearance to the bay. We'll go park in the bay. You revived a cap while you were talking. What do you mean I revived a car? Obviously, like, the more I learn here, the better. A strobe should also come off. Guys, this landing was so scuffed. I apologize so much. You've all had a great time here with me tonight. I need to get up and move around. My stomach is sore. Otherwise, I'd possibly do another. But yeah, unfortunately, uh, that's just, it's not going to happen. Sorry, guys. No, it's all good, Vlad. It's, I deal with very regular stomach issues, so... Don't worry too much about that. Anyway, uh... You sweet chili, I hope you have a better landing than I did. Once again, I apologize to everyone uh, for my extremely scuffed landing. I should have been paying more attention. Uh, but we did get it down at least. I must have been hitting... I might have been hitting my function key instead of alt. But unfortunately, there's no way to tell.
because there's no cameras or anything. Once again, if you want to have a look at the notes, there they are right there. If you want to, if you're unsure how you can take notes, this is just how I take notes that works for me. Let me actually rotate that again. Which way are we going? Clockwise. Transform. Rotate. Not letting me. Come on, dude. Clockwise. Hey, there we go. So if you guys want to look at notes, how I structure them, if you have trouble with notes, this is one way that you can do it. Not saying it's the way that works for everyone, it's just a way that works for me. And I'm sure you can see uh, how it's structured here. We've got our, uh, our airplane details. Anything to do with uh, stuff on the ground that's sitting in our squawk and our departure frequencies. Then taxis, SIDs and stars. So that's how I structure my notes. So if you like the idea of that, feel free to take a screenshot and all that sort of deal and see if that works for you as well. If not, if you have your own systems, that's cool too. All right. With that, everyone, I'm out. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a awesome one. Despite being so scuffed, I'm going to head out and just relax now i feel really disgusting um so this was going to be a video i'm not sure if it can be because of all the frame stutters but i'll go over the footage and decide from there if not the next vatsim video might be a little later still and for that i apologize uh, it is what it is, obviously. I was trying to put in a lot into this stream and it kind of hated me doing quite so much, so. Oh, good, but don't worry about it, yeah. Yeah, but YouTube says release content, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what I have to worry about more. Anyway, let's get a, uh, a picture here. Everybody group selfie. Hitting, please don't. There we go. Get that screenshot. And get that one. Oh, hang on. That still has the, uh, the steam thing in the bottom. What happened? Uh, I came into the landing too fast. Uh, I was too high on my initial descent. My computer was freaking out every, every hot second. <laughs> I think we can do away with this uh, overlay here as well. I think it's just going to be too much of an issue. It keeps crashing. It doesn't like it, though. So. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do the things. Learn from mistakes. Yeah, well, normally I come in no problem, but it, it's weird. When I start streaming, everything starts going wrong, probably because I'm focusing on a little more than just the fly. I'm going to do the things. If you haven't already, please be sure to like this live stream and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more. There will be a Vatsim video up at some stage soon, but it may not be this light here. Even though we had full ATC and it would be awesome. Um, Yeah, jump in the Discord if you are into that sort of thing. There's a link down in the description. And if you subscribe and like the video, it tells YouTube that you want to see more and also that other people should be recommended the videos, which obviously helps me out a lot as well. Obviously, the viewership is uh, is what matters more to me than subscribers and stuff like that. If you subscribe, come back and watch. That that makes me happy. Um, As a YouTuber, I mean. 
But until the next time, everyone, please do take care of yourselves. This has been Chillinus. I will see you again sometime very soon. And until that time, everyone, please do take care of yourselves. I'll see you later. Ciao, everyone.